Today we are going to create a mystery box campaign. On our space page, let's head over to the right side and click the blue create button. Then we'll go to create a campaign and you'll see we have the option for a mystery box. This is where different NFTs are distributed among participants based on weighted rarities in each box. You can see here that we'll have three tabs, the campaign info, the mystery NFT info, and the who is eligible tab. First, looking at the campaign info, we have the title, the description, the media file, and the campaign period. The title and the description should explain and let users understand the campaign that they are participating in. Please make sure that the information put in the title and description is easily understood by anybody. Next, in the media file on the far right here, this will be for the cover image for the campaign. Please make sure you follow along with the recommendations in the box here. Heading down, you'll see the campaign period. This is where you'll choose the start date and end date as well as times for the campaign. You can see here that we have October 18th to October 21st, both beginning and ending at midnight. You can also head here and toggle this on to have no end time. This campaign will run continuously as long as users can claim. Below that is the permissions tab. This is to choose whether the campaign is public or private. Public campaigns will appear on the campaign and space page. Private campaigns can only be accessed through the specified link. Moving on to the mystery NFT info category. This is where we will decide on the NFT contract and the NFT setting, as well as creating our mystery NFTs. First, you will choose your contract. Here, we have chosen the Christmas NFT contract as an example. You can create your own contract as well, right here. Next, we will go to add a new mystery NFT. As you can see here, I've uploaded an example of a media file into the space here and given it a name. You can also add attributes here. A key and a value, for example. Then you click add. You can see here that we have one mystery NFT in the setting. The NFT, the name, the weight, and the probability. Once you add a second NFT to the NFT setting in the mystery category, you can see here having a weight of one and a weight of one on either or creates a probability of 50%. Now, if we change that weight to 10, we now have a probability of 90% and 9%. This means that most people will probably mint the first NFT, and this makes the second NFT a lot more rare. This is the core values of a mystery box. You can also click to edit the NFTs here, or remove them here. On the Who is Eligible page, you'll see we have the options for open to all, choosing the minting cap, as well as the credential input. If you were to toggle open to all, this would remove the option for a credential and any user would be able to participate in this NFT without any task requirement. The minting cap tab is where you would choose the minting cap if you'd like to have an overall limit amount allocated for the campaign. This would mean if this is blank, there is no limit. If we wrote 10, only 10 NFTs can be minted on this campaign, regardless of the users. This means it would be first come first serve to these first 10 NFTs. Next is the Credential tab. This is where you will list all of the credentials needed for users to complete to participate in this campaign. Choosing a credential in the Credential tab means that this singular credential will get one entry. This means a user with this credential can mint one NFT. Now if we click into the same tab and add a second credential, this means that the user with this credential and this credential gets one NFT. Now we can also change this to OR which means a user holding one or the other credential will get one NFT. We can also change this to five entries if we'd like as well, meaning a user can mint five NFTs. If you'd like to get more creative, you can add a second column and use the same customization. After you have finished filling out the campaign info, the NFT info, and who is eligible, you can either save as a draft here in the bottom left, or you can click this blue release button here. Once you click this release button, you'll sign a transaction in the top right, and your campaign will be public and released. This has been a tutorial on creating a mystery box NFT campaign. Thank you and see you next time.